This is EOS Mega Update Volume 11. A user on Twitter, Kevin Rookie, or Rook, has just put a post. He says, EOS dApps now have more daily users and higher weekly transaction volume than Ethereum dApps. And he has some proof to back it up. So this first screenshot is of EOS dApps and their various 24-hour volumes, seven-day volumes, etc., and what category they are, if they're a game or they're gambling exchanges, etc. So this is the EOS page. We go over here, this is the Ethereum page. Again, the same type of information listed out here. And then we go to the final image and he actually tabulated it. So the EOS seven day total DAP volume was $48 million. And the Ethereum seven day total DAP volume was only $26 million. And we also have a comparison of the number of users using the DAPs. For EOS, it's 11,000 and for Ethereum, it's 10,000. So again, we have more volume and more users on the EOS chain. And this is only three months after EOS has gone live. So it's looking pretty bullish for the EOS DAP marketplace here. 48 million versus 26. And Ethereum's been around for three years. That's pretty crazy. This kind of statistics right here would be the reason why I would say invest in EOS as opposed to investing in some other coin right now or even Ethereum. I would say invest in EOS because utility is part of the creation of the value. It's scarcity and utility. And so we have the utility of EOS being provably greater than Ethereum, a smart contract platform that's been around for over three years. And so I think that this is just going to amplify and grow tremendously in the months and years to come. And I just wanted to give a quick shout out to block producer Meet One because they've gotten their wallet on iOS. So now Apple devices can use the Meet One wallet. All right, guys, and you may have been aware that there's the Telos fork of EOS occurring and the new blockchain started on Telos. Well, there's another one called Warbly. And I asked them, how come they're creating a new blockchain? And they basically, they're taking a snapshot. As of September 7th, they've taken a snapshot of all existing EOS token holders. And I believe it's November 1st that you can then claim your Warbly tokens on the Warbly blockchain. And it expires within about a year. So you wanna make sure you do claim those before a year is up. But in answer to why did they create their own blockchain using the EOS IO software rather than just creating a token and platform on top of EOS? And he actually answered me on Reddit and he says, our EOS blockchain will be tailored to feature full anti-money laundering and know your customer compliant user accounts and block producers that meet global financial compliance standards. So a slightly different type of target than EOS. EOS obviously does not require any kind of AML KYC, but Warbly is all about that. So I think that's the main difference that I can see from Warbly to EOS. Perhaps there's some kind of dApps or situations where you are going to need AML and KYC, and Warbly apparently is trying to fill that niche market where you do need AML KYC and to make it easier to satisfy regulators' requests. Personally, I'm not a big fan of satisfying regulators. I think that we should do less of that, but this could be good in just furthering crypto into the economy and getting it more adopted as we gradually erode and take over the entire economy of the world, which I believe crypto will in you know the decades to come. So this could be, Warbly could be a step in that direction. And they say that this means that if you have a dApp idea or platform that you would like to execute using the EOS IO infrastructure, but require compliance, you would want to build that on Warbly and take advantage of our strict adherence to KYC and AML. So there you go, Warbly, created using the same EOS IO software that Telos and EOS are using, but catered to AML KYC. So it'll be interesting to see where this goes. Don't forget to claim your Warbly tokens, um, November 1st, 2018. Oh, and just one more thing on Warbly. So they're calling it a share drop. It's really just a, a new blockchain with a snapshot. And it says Warbly is sharing 1 billion Warbly tokens, WBI. So the ticker symbol is gonna be WBI with EOS mainnet holders. That's 40% of the total supply of 2.5 Warbly tokens. So they're going to have a higher total 
coin supply than EOS does. EOS has 1 billion, Warbly is going to have 2.5 billion, and they're going to be sharing 1 billion tokens, which is 40%. They're not going to be sharing the rest of the 60%, and I don't know where those are going to come from. So currently you will get matched at a ratio of 1 to 1, with 1 EOS being worth 1 Warbly. On to another post. This is about betting. And I saw this and I just really wanted to share this to help anyone out there because of this guy's experience. So I'm going to read this to you. It's titled EOS Bet Dice, warning to those without self-control. I played the heck out of this game, racking up over 15,000 transactions, playing successfully, winning thousands of EOS. I'm on that list of huge wins a couple of times. I should have quit there while substantially ahead of my starting amount. But the rush and greed got me in the end. This is easy. I'm going to get 10,000 EOS at this rate. Out of all those transactions, I once rolled 11 wins in a row. Twice I rolled 12 losses in a row. Calculating the probability and knowing how small of a chance of these events could occur, less than 1%, I figured it couldn't happen, could it? Well, two runs of 12 consecutive losses wiped me out by 73%. I should have stopped after the first major loss, but no, it was just a matter of time before I'd win it back, he thinks. The strange thing is, before this game, I'd never really gambled in any substantial manner. I've bought a lottery ticket when the payout is several million, spent 20 bucks at a casino a couple of times, but the ease of which I could spend US really got me. I'm not blaming anyone but my lack of self-control. This Saturday has been a complete wreck for me, and I've become physically ill. It even crossed my mind to try again to gamble my money back, but I decided on this Reddit post instead. Now I just have to hope EOS increases in value to cover my initial fiat deposits and hope that the bet dividends are a real thing because boy, do I now have a lot of bet tokens. And he says, set a limit, stay within it. And this guy's reply really backs it up. He says, it's actually pretty scary how easy it is now to gamble your entire stack away in a couple of clicks. Maybe after a few drinks. You don't even have to put pants on and drive to the casino or go through an annoying KYC process with a gambling website. For the impulse of Among Us, stake your tokens, folks. Give yourself three solid days to think about it. So I just wanted to share that to put that in perspective for you guys who are thinking about gambling or who have gambled. You know, take it easy and, and just watch your back on this because it's so easy to lose your whole stack. And I think that, you know, crypto itself is somewhat of a gamble already. It's so volatile. But just holding your EOS is the ultimate money making position I think that you can have. Rather than gambling your money away and trying to double your stack, that's such a short term approach. Go for the long term. Set a goal of hold that stack for four years or five years and you will 10 or 20 extra money right there. And I think that's a lot more surefire than doing a 50% click on a mouse button to roll the dice to see if you doubled your money. In the long term, patience will reward you. All right, guys, and next up, a warning to not use new Dex, the supposedly decentralized exchange, which is not decentralized at all. And this is on their website. It says, the first global decentralized exchange built on EOS. Decentralized, they claim. It says, no deposit, no withdrawal, safe assets, open and transparency. Well, maybe not quite so open and not quite so transparent. As this Reddit post points out, it says, PSA, Nudex is not a decentralized exchange despite their deceptive and misleading marketing. Do not trust them as a DEX, a decentralized exchange. They don't even use a smart contract and have not published any source code of their centralized matching server. So guys, I would think twice or even three times before using this exchange. First of all, they're not decentralized, but second of all, they're claiming to be and aren't. That is a major red flag. So they're lying. An exchange that's willing to lie on their front page who knows what they're willing to do with your funds. So they're not using a smart contract. They're not a decentralized exchange. Don't use new decks. Okay, guys, and some positive news in light of those who have lost their EOS private keys. So we have here uh, EOS Authority website change of permission account. So what this is, is block producers voting on the ability to change accounts without that pseudo command. It's basically the ability to execute the same functionality as that pseudo command for those who have lost their EOS private keys to regain control of those you know, zombie accounts without the actual sudo command. And that's what this update my auth account was proposing to do. It looks like it expired with just one more vote needed, so it shouldn't be hard to repose this vote and get it approved. 
But the way this voting works here is it was proposed on the 9th of September and all the green approved, so those who approved it, any block producer in yellow fell out of the top 21 block producers. So these guys, US Asia, Rio Brazil, Korea, and Beijing are no longer in the top 21 block producers. All these other ones that are in black are still in the top 21. And you'll notice how many approves do we have? Well, it goes down to 18. So we have 18 who approved it, but four of which who fell out. So that's 14 block producers who have both approved it and are still within the top 21 block producers. And we needed 15 to pass. So that's why it says one more. We have 14 who approved it in the top 21. We needed 15 to approve this whole thing to get it passed. And so I don't think it should be hard to resubmit this and get it voted in by the top 21s. But guys, just this is just my way of letting you know that it's being worked on. I mean, we have stuff like this. We have the pseudo account. We have Dan supporting it. Like my confidence level is up to 95% personally that we are going to regain control of our zombie accounts. Assuming you do have proof of ownership with your Ethereum mainnet genesis key that you use to register your tokens. If you've got that, I think you're pretty good to go. We're just waiting for things like this to get approved. Block producers are working on it. So there is hope, guys. We are getting close. Maybe within the next month, we'll be able to regain control of those accounts. I am looking forward to it. My friend is going to be freaking ecstatic. All right, and Telos, I haven't talked about Telos in a while, but they have created a community rewards pool to reward those who help promote and talk about Telos. And so rather than me try to explain it, I'm just gonna let Doug take it away. Hey everybody, we need your help in letting the world know just how great the Telos network is gonna be. We have a million Telos tokens to give away to community members, and you can start earning those right now just for spreading the word about Telos. So start making those videos, writing articles, or just tweeting, right? There are a lot of ways that you can take part from chat room management to Reddit to hosting a meetup. You can earn a bounty reward when you post and then more when people like or retweet. So all the instructions are right here. Check it out, sign up, start spreading the word about Telos and start earning your Telos tokens in the process. Thanks. So we have Warbly coming up, we got Telos and we have EOS. I still think EOS is number one, but hey, it's cool. Competition breeds innovation. And so we'll have a lot of innovation occurring on the EOS IO software and platforms. Lastly, I'm gonna share with you some footage of me, as I promised at the beginning of this video, of me snorkeling. And it's on the northeast coast of St. Thomas in the Caribbean. And I was under there with, I just got this like plastic clear bag. You can buy them on Amazon for like 15 bucks to put my phone in, my iPhone. And I took it under the water with me and look at this footage i have these fish coming eating out of my hand it was really a once in a lifetime experience so i just wanted to share this with you guys before i sign off we are off the northeast coast of saint thomas island at koki beach renowned for its snorkeling look at these crystal blue waters guys we are super excited and we got some dog kibble to feed the fish they come right up to you
All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. It's really been a pleasure to share this with you. Sorry it took me so long to get back. And I really appreciate you being patient and watching my videos. Please like this if you liked it. Please subscribe. Please share it. Thank you so much. And I hope you're having a fantastic day.